The paper dynamics and use of paper machine just resembles like driving a car, as was explained by Professor Fallet. See, your right hand is on the accelerator, the right foot, and left foot is generally controlling the microscope. Your right hand is holding, the dominant hand is holding the Peco Pro. I don't call it right hand because there are few persons who may be using left hand to hold the Peco machine. Non dominant hand is holding a second instrument. So both of your hands are busy. So we welcome now Dr. Jalandhi with his presentation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Uh, for the last two decades, we have been talking about the R today and X R today, but uh, we have really seen towards the other end of the spectrum. And today we will take. Uh, how to handle the extra sampling layer. And there is an increasing trend of soft effects of genoids because of the better results. And removal of uh, soft API may be challenging sometimes, especially for the juniors. Let's see what are the real difficulties which we come across when we are uh, doing a soft edit. No, actually we are afraid of not going down. We don't want to go down deeper in the just because suddenly it tries to jump into the paper table. So we are afraid that we don't go deep, but it's so tenacious, usually the soft edit is it's very tenacious and doesn't separate. It doesn't move, it's just like a thick gel. And we don't want to go deeper to provide the incident of uh, PCR. So you, know, you can see that it's divided you know, spherically, but in theory it fails, uh, it just refuses to divide, to separate. It's not very really soft, but it's soft. It's not hard. It's not really possible. We Every we take the uh, process 2 as normal, and it's 2, because and it's less and less than this one. So, until you get the uh, first uh, warhead into your paper dip, it remains quite difficult. So it's very difficult to Maneuver it, maneuver the, the second half, and then. No, I've tried the technique. I'm using it directly on a basis for the uh, um, soft India nowadays. And I've done more than 200 cases, and I found it very effective and very safe technique for such India. Let's see what's there. And the first thing is. That you have to replace it. You have to push the nucleus in the anterior chamber. Just bring it into the anterior chamber. It's very soft nucleus, and after doing hydrodissection, just rotate it and it will come into the anterior chamber. <laughs> this is the first step. And then inject some viscoelastic. Some viscoelastic is pushed in front and behind the nucleus to prevent the endothelium and the uh, capsule. And the bevel uh, towards the nucleus, very brief. Just in a few seconds, it is taken into your know, paper tip. The important thing is that you should remain towards the periphery. If you engage the central area, then if you engage the central area, then you will terminate. So, bevel towards this 
and the injector lead door from the inferior port will be pushing the prostate capsule backwards. Here you can see that in, if you engage the center portion, there is stumbling and there is slight difficulty, but don't worry, everything will be can be easily done even in such cases when there is stumbling of the nucleus. And see the other end is not used, no chakra is used in these cases. This is slightly harder to get it. No, this is turning. Sorry. See, this is starting more than five seconds. It's the same size, you see, five millimeter. It can easily come out because it's very soft. So you can just push it, it's maneuverable. It's soft and you can hyper delineate it to make it further smaller. It's so actually, uh, in the next I will show that the epicness is also there. But uh, this is slightly harder than just Nibus is layer one, but it can also be taken very easily with this technique. Actually, this is a uh, hydrodization. It's been done in hydrodination. Uh, hydrodization. You can see this uh, nucleus and epinucleus both are there now. You can see it over there at the periphery. But this is a larger one now. But still, you can easily manage it. The parameters uh, for the crudeness and the capo power. Capo power is very low, you can keep it up, you don't require it too much, you can keep it up to 20. And the vacuum is about 400 to 450. Good. We just have to remain in the center and become center. <laughs> very soft, you can uh, take it with the two way camera. Very soft, especially in the yeah. pediatric case. Well, you start with the other This can't come with the camera, I'm sure. Uh, actually, this softness, you look at And see how much time is required. It's just uh, maybe one. Two, three, four minutes. Uh, four seconds. The softness may be CV. It's five to ten seconds. Only. And if you start with camera, you will take a long time. The only one. The only thing to remember. This is the setting for happy nucleus, which you keep it for happy nucleus. The setting looks very good in Professor Ajah's hands. But for juniors, I would recommend that if you start bringing your nucleus into the chamber. This is not a kind of international recommendation. This is Professor Ajaz's technique and looks excellent in his hands. But for uh, as a kind of recommendation, the endocapsular FECO is the real answer. Which yeah. you to learn. But uh, initially, once you become an expert and champion FECO surgeon like Professor Ajaz, then do whatever you like. Uh, so it's an easy technique actually. It's very easy and very safe. I found it very safe. We are using it in a routine for the saw cases. It just takes 5 to 10 seconds for the needles to come out. 
And uh, this group was structured communication. And I am not seeing a striker taking any of these cases. Usually I see this is a follow up the cases of preparedness. It was follow up the of preparedness. And I have never seen, maybe in few cases, maybe the on the first follow up it is done on first or second post okay. But I have not seen it. No. Agent Edward CSI, local SDM. Uh, different than uh, say maybe in 18 to uh, uh, 45. Younger directions. Usual cases are European cases and categories. No, no, especially I think I'm going to get on. You don't need very power, uh, high power. You get it 10, suppose 10 percent or 20 percent is okay. Take power. That's okay for this. Wherever you need it, you can use. And where you don't need it, it's all into your full control. If you want to do uh, aspiration, the recent aspiration simply you can do it. And if you want to, you think that you need some power, then you can go to the control shell. 18 to 40 years, it's quite soft. Soft cabinet, so, what do you want to do? 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 Is it delivered when you go to the board and then it's extensive CR for the section? Absolutely. The case will go to the other one. There's no problem. 18 to 40 years, there's no problem. Soft cat drive. So, see, I'm sure that you'll say, ask that, but it will take a long time. And if you do it with like this, hardly a few seconds. So, the so, young kids can do the way they like, but better you, the residents may follow the standard instructions in initial years. That is end of capital of paper. And then once you are good with paper dynamics and with foot control no, and your uh, paper driving skills, then you can have this I will just like to conclude that uh, you should be very careful while you are doing this. Because you have to, if you, uh, every uh, transfer uh, nucleus is not a solid nucleus, sometimes very hard. And if you will push the hard nucleus out, uh, in the interior, uh, for the junior to be admired. So we have to decide three of it three, on this trip. Best thing is they have to decide on this trip. This is a good one. Sorry, a nickel specific grade one or less than that. So it's supposed to be sub-estimated. Then you have to do it. To step all the Excuse me. So thank you so much. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, you are treating if you to start with. Yeah, and you are also going, you are not in the center, you are going towards the center. That's what I was telling you in this beginning, that you have to keep your bevel towards the periphery uh, of the nucleus, towards the edge of the nucleus, towards the equator of the nucleus, and you have to uh, uh, place the bevel like this, and one that will go upwards, and the second will go downwards, and will push the it will create a space and keep it in the center, and it will push the iris and the posterior capsule backwards. Yes. 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 This, is, this is the only way, otherwise, if I state, you will be in trouble. Yes. 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 So, what we use? I'll straight away go to the Aminiglis. Straight away, my right foot. I'll go to Aminiglis and do it in this way. Even if you don't deliver this in the empty chamber, you can just play. That's the most difficult thing, right? Can you? I'll not deliver in the empty chamber. I'll give you that I'll do it easily. Yeah, everyone can do it easily. There's no problem with the wet. I, I'm telling you that sometimes you take very serious very soft nucleus and suddenly it tries to be jumps into your paper tip and you end up with a PCR. No, That's know. why I just want to say it because I have a lot and lots of experience of doing this in every every style. Because I was I finished my list, list the first game in a story. Or last case, we would be So, many reflexes are hard cavity, meaningless cases plus 10 or the Otherwise, we are both 
बहुत रिलैक्स काम करता था सो इसमें जब पहले मैं इस पर भी जाता था जब सॉफ्ट की प्रसाद मुझे पता था कि एक सारा फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकंड ही देगा मुझे अगर आई गो डाउनवर्ड्स एंड आई टच दी बुस्टिंग कर दूं बट विद दिस टेक्निक्स वी आर इन वेरी सेफ एट दैट ये सन दिनों की बात है आप 10 केस करेंगे उसके बाद कहेंगे इससे अच्छा अच्छा चाहिए पहले मैं भी कोई प्याला ही रखता था कोई दूध का प्याला बट डू बिकम द चैंपियन बस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर चैंपियन डू एनीथिंग यू लाइक थैंक यू प्रोफेसर जास so there is pr no oh, i know outside there is pr take only 5 minutes that is i will implant it can i make a comment yes why do you there is no improvement on the technique as as good as the technique is you have i would just add one recommendation for the high intersection uh, instrument uh, a chain cannula has a flattened uh, tip and so it will help lift but uh, they are uh, they are actually small what i used to do hydro dissection 10 years ago up to 10 years ago for, for the last uh, 10 years of my professional life i was using these cameras but once i tried with a wide bore camera the smallest thing abhi bhi aapko is sabko dhuma ke ek ek dafa aap karke dekhte hain you just do it with a wide bore camera which you are using for the this is for us so it's wonderful we we don't need any sharp jet of the tube to a hydro dissection it may go into the uh, uh, the zone through the zone unit may go possibly at the end of push this part but we need a wider but slow stream and this that gives a beautiful hydro dissection and even hydro dissection for hydro dissection you need that one. but for hydro dissection this is the best aap isko apply karke dekhe जब से मैं वाइडर वॉक करना में आया इट्स सो इजी जो आप करते थे सपोज 15 सेकंड में अब वो आप 5 सेकंड में कर लेते सो दिस इज माय पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू शुड आई कैन आई जस्ट वांट टू शेयर माय पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस इन अदर वी टेक इट्स रिटन इन द बुक्स बट देयर आर सम न्यू थिंग्स एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू शेयर बिकॉज़ थैंक यू थैंक यू सो वेल दिस इज हियर and the point by dr mustafa was that uh, there is a special kind of curve given to the cannula and flatness which is known as chang cannula that can be used to bring the nucleus anteriorly but you see there is no hard and fast rule anything can be put in any surgeon's hands what what is meant is to come up with a solid real outcome safe real outcome and my my only recommendation and tendency in these discussions is that a specialized personalized technique which differs from international recommendations it may be difficult to adopt for juniors however the senior surgeons who have experience they can just watch watch one video and adopt the new maneuver so we come to our last presentation and i am going to be very fast tempo is going to be fast that is i will implantation tips the quality of the paper cataract surgery will determine the ideal implantation we have to have good traces as has been discussed well centered traces and then we need to know the characteristics of our ideal implants and then we need to be well versed with the injection systems of and implantation technique of that particular model and their interaction with the ocular anatomy and we have to take care of the pre existing surgeon induced errors while planning for the surgery and what i mean by io implantation and injector systems i always recommend especially in premium io surgery that one should use the same io and the same injection system which one is using during routine cataract surgery if you want to handle the steeper axis make it a habit during your regular cataract surgery because on the day of multifocal io implantation you you can't do what you have not been doing routinely so before you embark upon premium eye practice you have to make a habit 
of taking care of little things regularly. Then conversion to the premium myel practice, to toric IOL, handling astigmatism, placing your incision on steeper meridian, and IOL implantation is not an issue. So asymmetric interaction with capsular bag, if our bag, the capsular size is not optimal, we have not uh, that clear the cortical length matter, subcapsular length matter, then the capsular fibrosis may also decenter the intraocular lens. And sometimes you are not able to judge that one haptic is lying inside the bag and the other one is lying in the sulcus. That can also give rise to decentration. So African endomial is the message. So the centration on the visual axis provides the best view outcomes. And this becomes more and more important as we move on to implantation of toric IOLs and multifocal IOLs and their dynamics and their pupil dependency and their center dependency is more than simple monofocal IOLs. So we have to be vigilant about proper implantation and centration of the intraocular lenses. <coughs> The capsular polishing is important and thorough clearance of the sub capsular lens matter is important. Then the lesson here is always work in a well formed chamber. Never implant or rotate an intraocular lens in a shallow interior chamber. That's the gist of this presentation. Never manipulate the intraocular lens in a shallow interior chamber. It may be a very meager adjustment, very little rotation, but in a shallow interior chamber, it can be disastrous. It can change your successful surgery into a nightmare if you manipulate the intraocular lens in a shallow interior chamber. Do it well and then use the time tested injection system. This is the Rayner refractive IOL, which we performed in 2011, and you see it's beautifully centered. And here is the once in the back or you can be nudged in any direction and to accommodate in the back. You can be very gentle. This is a preloaded intraocular lens by the inner with the name of Ray 1. It's a beautiful system. Just fold and go. And no human touch is needed. And even their hydrophilic Ray 1 system doesn't need the injection of the viscoelastic into the cartridge because it has already fluid inside. However, their hydrophobic ray one system does need injection of the viscoelastic into the cartridge. And because of the beautiful dimensions of this lens and its haptic design, its centration is excellent in the capital bag. And if I am removing the viscoelastic from the interior side of the lens as well as from the posterior side of the lens. And the little random rotation also helps to polish the capsule. So this is the era of preloaded IULs. Now about 90% of my people surgery, 95% except in deserving patients, it comes with preloaded. I use all kinds of preloaded IOL, in hydrophobic I prefer Goya and in hydrophilic I prefer Rainer. The Rainer has got hydrophobic as well. I am not very comfortable with the Alcon preloaded IOL because it moves not that smooth. The preloaded IOL system of Goya and Rainer are I think top of the world as long as the compatibility of the IOL with the injection system is concerned. Deepening of the anterior chamber, make the capsular look tall and full. This is a Hoya preloaded intraocular lens. Viscoelastin is being injected into the cartridge and it goes very smoothly through 2.75 mm in CN. And their new V, V, and next model can go even from 2.2 mm in CN. This is a hydrophobic design. And the compatibility with, it, with, with its cartridge is excellent. 
this is vanal in hydrophilic design i just fill a little viscous elastic into the cartridge then close it and the system is ready to be injected and the other point here is that don't assume anything do everything under vision under your eyes keep on watching the lens and the nozzle of the injector till the last moment because anything can go wrong during the process and another i think uh, thing i would like to stress here is while you are injecting the lens into the bag especially in these preloaded iols sometimes the lens can jump can open up suddenly especially hydrophobic iols so what what i advise is just keep on move, moving your nozzle of your injector backwards so that your distance from your steerer capsule keeps on adjusting the iol is moving out your nozzle is moving back so that's the key here don't come out but keep on increasing the distance from the posterior capsule and in the end once the trailing haptic is being delivered you can just dip your needle uh, your nozzle a little in superiorly and implant the superior haptic into the bag as well so you don't need the dialer or any other instrument to dial the lens but watch it and keep on adjusting your hand and curve of your iol sometimes these hydrophobic iols they can open up into the eye unexpectedly if you are watching you will just rotate right or left accordingly so you if you are watching and you are continuously ready to maneuver and to modify the movement of your hand then you don't need to memorize what the instructions were given by the manufacturer because you are watching the behavior of the intraocular lens inside the eye and you are modifying your curve of your hand the movement of your hand accordingly so it will not be a disaster at all this is a full phacocentric of i don't mean it is will take 10 minutes it is very quick video we have performed the cut while performing the cn just angle the knife at 30 degrees so that the superior and inferior floor and the roof of the cn are symmetric and the capsule rexis is being performed in rexis our recommendation is that after initial cut one should not touch the bed of the capsule your rest of the tearing should be from inverted or inverted capsular flap and then comes the nucleus now it's your choice it is soft but i multiplied it inside the bag you can bring it in the inner chamber if you can get well versed with professor ajaz dikhi then comes the preloaded iol and i am watching it as you see the iol is going out and the nozzle of the injector is moving a little a little towards the incision so that there is no extra pressure on the posterior capsule routinely you may be doing hundreds of cases and everything may go smooth but these precautions will decrease the surprise which you can end up during iol implantation another patient who just nick the inner capsule horizontally and then he worked the tongue and rest of the tearing is performed by pulling or pushing the inverted flap of the inner capsule so that we don't nick the capsule accidentally during this maneuver while performing hydro dissection just throw, go beneath the capsule about 1 to 2 mm and then just lift the capsule a little and then inject that will give you a very good hydro dissection and after hydro dissection you can always go for hydro delineation so that you can decrease the size of the nucleus this is again a preloaded intraocular lens ovid is failed and is being injected into the anterior chamber the iol is opening up 
the nozzle of the injector is moving back. And once the trailing haptic comes into picture, I dip the nozzle so that it is delivered inside the bag. So never place or dial a lens in a shallow interior chamber. That's enough message for today's presentation. Never manipulate an interrupter lens in a shallow interior chamber. Watch the injector nozzle and interrupt a lens till it is fully delivered. Eye concentration is affected by both the lens position at the end of the surgery and the effect of capsulotomy and the kind of polishing and the lens metal removal you have performed. So good centration is very important. A little poetry in the end before your tea. Jangari ajab si hai tujhe paane ki kahesh Surge na jale hai na bujhe hai na tumha ho Na bujhti hai na jalti hai Sulakti rehti hai bhar Ras gholay ho kaano mein filao mein tarannum Aam aata hai buktaar jo ho shiri bhaiya ho Tabiyat pe jinu hai ki guzar jaun yahaan se Dunia ho koi aur naya koi jahaan ho Ye ishko mohabbat nahi hai chiz koi aur Hakikat ho pasu ho ya mera rahmo kuma ho Thank you very much for this patient listening and sacrificing your tea for this eye well implantation tape. Thank you all.